Hello and welcome back to Trains, a new era. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Today we are going to be um, whistling a horn of a Class A, A3. Yeah, Class A3. That's a Class A3. Uh, we're, we're at Appleby or Appleby West and we're going to be actually traveling. So we're actually going to... Let's get the traveling going already. 200% uh, that was a little bit too much but we're going to be traveling over to uh, Carlisle or towards Carlisle continuing on from the DLC review that I did so I did a two-part DLC review where I started in Skipton and I had a look at this journey or this track all the way up to Appleby giving you my thoughts on what I felt was right what I felt was wrong what felt nice what didn't feel nice uh, but today we're going to be continuing along this way and we're going to see how far we can get towards Carlisle. Now I know we've still got quite a while to go, so perhaps we're not going to Yeah, perhaps we're not going to actually get to Carlisle, but it should be interesting to see. It should definitely be interesting to see. So let's see if we can uh, continue along. Now I don't know whether this was the name of the train. I thought I had Columbus. Obviously we've swapped, swapped out for Trigo. Interestingly enough, I think I've got a model of this train. A collector's model of this train. I'm not too sure. I, I collect the odd the odd railway model. I collect car models, aircraft models. I like I like collecting models and building models, but I think I have got Trigo. I'm fairly certain of that. But anyway, we're going to see if we can get ourselves underway all the way up to uh all the way up to Carlisle or towards Carlisle as far as we can go in the next let's say 25 to 30 minutes so yeah let's see let's see what we can do if you want to purchase this DLC by the way the link in the description box below the affiliate link will uh, take you to the train store where you can purchase this this DLC and support me at the same time that's not to say that the DLC is going to be any more expensive it's going to be the exact same price as whatever it is on the store normally uh, but it will just have uh, support for me saying that it's going through going through my link and I'll, I'll then get a little bit of commission on it which is um, I suppose that's a, a way to a way for me to earn money off making these reviews which aren't easy obviously videos in general aren't easy but if you do want to purchase it link in the description box below really really would appreciate appreciate you going through that for anything actually um, there is a general link as well as as well as a link for this particular route if I remember I'll have the link for this particular route on it right I'm only doing 18 miles per hour that's a little bit poor I need to uh, let's think how am I going to up this that perhaps I think that might help me pick up speed that definitely sounds it. Not only not only can I see it going up there, but I can hear the pitch changing even through that. Look, listen. Oh, it's changed again. But uh, the noise is it's it's going up and up, which is a really good sign. So currently at 25 miles per hour, heading towards 80. Although we do have a 30 limit coming up. Obviously, I'm not going to be the greatest at at this. Uh, I'm sure you guys know that steam engines and I don't go too well. Uh, I understand steam engines, but I'm not all too familiar with the fine operation of a steam engine. I could probably build a steam engine, but definitely not familiar with the fine operation of one. And that's mostly, I suppose, that's born out of not having practice. That's an AWS ramp. I thought this was based in the 1960s. Or maybe it's not the 1960s. Maybe it's based a little bit later. I didn't think there were AWS ramps in the 1960s. Maybe there were. I don't know. I know there were definitely AWS ramps in the 1980s. But yeah, let's see how far we can go along with this. Definitely picking up speed now. Once again, a change of, change of noise. I would love to see a high quality model of this. I think that would be really awesome. Especially one that had more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One that had more than eight polygons on a face, uh, on a front-facing buffer. That would be that would be really nice if we could even get double the, double, triple the amount of polygons on that. That would be really cool. So instead of eight, if we can go up to uh, twenty-four, 
polygons on the front face. That would be really nice to see. Just better quality, I suppose. Right, we're up to 48, 49, almost 50 miles per hour. Although we do have a... I think we've got wheel slip. I'm not too sure. I think we had wheel slip. But we are going to also have to start braking. So I'm actually going to cut the power now and just put a little bit of brakes in. Because I think we're braking for that bridge. Just under that bridge, I think. Or that, that viaduct. That must be what we're braking for. Yeah, I feel like that's what we're braking for. So let's crank up. Oh, the 30 is right there, though. And we are 15 over. 40, 39, 38. There we go. We're good now. Come on. 31. I want 30. Does not want to give me 30, that's for sure. It doesn't really matter. We're going back up to 70 anyway. There we go. Now we're down to 30. So this is... I don't know. We'll, we'll find out as we pass through the station. Looks good, though. Does look good. Again, um... I... If you want to hear... What's the station? Long Martin. Long Martin. If you want to hear, hear my full thoughts on this, do watch parts one and two, which was actually the DLC review, and this is just part three, which is just the third leg, I, I suppose. Uh, I think we should be going up to 70 now, so I'm going to start accelerating. There we go. We are going back up to 70. Let's get that acceleration underway. Got plenty of water. Oh, a little bit of a uh, juddering. Look at that. You can see the smoke juddering. Now I think that's more of a sim issue as opposed to uh, an issue just on the on the route in particular. I've noticed that. Obviously, this is a slightly aged sim. It, it is a little bit old, and it does. There is a there is a replacement sim underway. Definitely a replacement sim underway, which I I am looking to uh, get my hands on and, and try out as soon as I can. Uh, I don't know when it's going to be ready, but I do hope it's, it's going to be soon. And if you want to know more about that, you can sign up to their newsletter, where they've got a whole bunch of information about it. Amber signal. There wasn't a train going in the opposite direction, I don't think. Why would I have an amber signal? Anyway, up to, th up to 70 we go, hopefully. Still plenty of water. When that comes down to about 75 or uh, 70, I'll start. Uh, I'll open up the injectors. And obviously, I'm not doing this from the in internal view, uh, ooh, because I'm I'm still having a look around at the at the scenery, which I do like. The rolling hills. That's something I do like. It does give it a very British feel. The rolling hills, the embankment. It's it's very realistic in that sense. It's just I think the color palette needs needs work the color palette the visuals the normal maps so really it's texturing and modeling uh, needs needs work imagine this with a with a high quality model that would be awesome I mean even there you can, you can just see that that there could probably do with some work Alright, really picking up speed now. I'm I'm happy about that. I'm not sure if we're we're experiencing some wheel slip or not, but I'm going to try and get more power through. Oh no, I think that is wheel slip. How are we gonna look on that? 55 miles per hour. No, I'd rather, I need to get faster. Can I not go faster than 55? 
I feel like I am increasing speed. I am 56. I'm I'm listening more to the pitch and the the speed, the timing of the bogey rumble, as you can hear. And the is it the the locks on the on the rails or something? Well, that was definitely an AWS. Green signal. Line ahead is clear. 57 miles per hour. 58. Now, my next one is still 70, so I'm not going to have trouble there. I remember once doing 100 on this. Like I, like I mentioned in the review, I remember doing 100 miles an hour in the Flying Scotsman. Uh, the Class A3 Flying Scotsman, that is. It's rather interesting. That whistle, I do want. I do want to see a better whistle. Without a doubt. All right, what's this train station that we're coming up again? Up on new. New Biggin. I thought it said New Biggin. I, I just wasn't sure though. Sixty miles per hour. I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of detailing to this to this DLC. Definitely there is a lot of detailing. I just want to see it modernized. Like for example, that would be nice if that was running water. That would be really nice. In fact, I think that would be awesome if that was running water. 61 miles per hour. Let me bring that back. Let's see if we can just get this going. 62 that might be a better yeah I think that's better I don't think we'll be using as much steam this way again you have to understand that steam trains are not my my forte I could probably like spill these but I couldn't um, couldn't operate one without a lot of experience there's another steam train coming this way though oh that's cool Really cool. As we pass through the station of Clacton? No, is that Clacton? That's not right. Ew. No. Cull get Cull I don't know what that is. I can't I I can't read that. Yeah, I think I'm not using i I'm not using too much steam like this. 65 miles per hour. Maybe I can increase it just a little. Get myself up to 70. See, again, that. Oh, that is running water. That's running water. It'd be nice if that was smoother, though. Looks a little Minecrafty. Come on, I, I, I want to... Uh, I want to try and... I want to try and get to 70. Which apparently isn't happening for me. I don't think that's the right way to get to 70, but maybe I've got to bring the 66. Maybe if I bring this forward a little bit more. Is that going to help? 67, that is helping. And then maybe if I bring the power back. Or should I say the... Uh, we've got the reverser up and the regulator back. 68. 69. Yeah, that looks good. Now I can bring that back like that. And I suppose that should... Can I get 70? Maybe not. Area looks good. Again, there's another one of those tiles. I talk about these tiles in the review, in the two parts of the reviews. No, we're going to 67 now. So that's not good. We need to actually put some power in. Water's at 75%. That's a little interesting farm track. Coming up to another station, it seems. How far out are we? 
I, I don't have a, the faintest idea. I think we're very far out. Well, we're going to continue for another 10 minutes and let's see how far we can get in 10 minutes. I remember seeing a schedule at one point. Hold on. How do I find those schedules? Uh, additional tools. Here we go. Schedule information. That's not it. No timetable. No, there was a timetable. Session instructions. There we go. There's the session instructions. Okay. So we've just passed... You begin. Um, we're supposed to pass New Begin at 4:33. The current time is 4:37. So the next one we should be coming up to, Langworthby. Did we just pass Langworthby? That's a good question. Let's find out. Yes, it was. Okay, so we're we're kind of on time. And 4:38. You know what? We'll get to Carlisle. I think we'll get to Carlisle on time. Oh, look at that. There's another one. There we go. Got two of them. So it says we should get to Carlisle in 20 minutes. Which I suppose... Um, I could go for 15. I could go for 15, and I suppose we'll be coming into Carlisle then. There we go, back down to 70. To be honest, in, in this sort of era, holding 70 miles an hour would be difficult. They'd definitely be going over and under slightly all the time unless I'm completely wrong and I just don't know how to use these trains at all I can put that back just let that cruise at the moment it's just cruising now what's interesting is we started with we started with 200% uh, in coal, and I've not shoveled coal in once into this. So I, I am curious to see how far we get before it goes down to 100%. Because that would be interesting. I think, I think we could get to Carlisle without having to shovel coal in at all anymore, all the way to the end. I felt like I was applying some sort of brake or pulling on, on the bogies or something. Let's put some more pressure in. We've got plenty of steam. Water level is okay. This looks like it's going to start climbing uphill. Maybe add a little bit more now. This is an uphill climb. There you go. Told you. It just felt like it. Right, do I need to start pushing this a little bit more now? So maybe we will need the extra coal. Wheel slip is not going to help. Although we seem to be holding speed. It's going to take us in a tunnel for something that really... Uh, sorry, in the tunnel mode, tunnel camera mode. Need to sort that out. Right, what station is this? Langby or something? I don't know. We can always go back to session instructions. Lazenby, that's what it was. 4.41, we're bang on time. So we are bang on time and we're looking at 20 minutes to go. And you know what? I'll run this for 20 minutes. Or actually, I'll do this in two. I'll do this in the next part, so we can have two 20-minute parts. 
That sounds about right. Yeah, we'll do that. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on... Uh, what is this called? Trains. Trains a new era. That's what it's called. Uh, leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. We have um, some some 20 minutes or so to go before we pull into Carlisle, uh, provided nothing goes wrong. So you never know. Things could go wrong. But uh, make sure you tune in for that part in the, in the last part of the Settle to Carlisle run. Uh, we'll, we'll see exactly uh, how long it takes us to get there. And if we do arrive there on time don't forget to support me on patreon www.patreon.com slash ec gadget why can i hear waterfalls oh it's running water that's what i can hear i say i could hear waterfalls it's not it's just running water okay um yeah don't forget to support me on patreon and follow me on twitch i'd really really appreciate your support uh, by uh, you guys following me on twitch too Thank you very much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time in Trains, A New Era.